Oh, hold on, CC. Oh, 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 no. oh, oh, no. oh, 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 Lucas, oh, oh, Lucas, oh, oh, Lucas, Lucas, Lucas. Look at the cocks re-breaking. Uh, what happened to that horse? The cocks re Cox juice is flowing oh. today, boys. But I've got Bellamy's Bellamy's Roan, the seven uh, singled in the last leg, coming off of the the win last time on a wet fast track at at Oakland. I am I uh, I went short in this leg as well. My key horse was the nine Mahoney, who's second off the layoff here for Velasquez. Uh, so there's interesting options here in the last race there. Um, I guess we could probably give out our pick four tickets right before the last one. Hopefully, some people put some uh, money in there on Folsom. Tom O'Connor. Hit that try. Excellent, man. That's going to be, uh, that's going to pay decent there with an eight to one shot up top. Who got third in that? Ah, there we go. Who got third in that spot? I don't know. I didn't see. Uh, did, did you catch it? No, I didn't. Tom hit the try. I just don't know who got third. That's all. Um, <laughs> they're starting to enter the gate over at uh, Turfway in the Bourbonette if we want to go there. All right. We'll head over to Turfway here. This is a fast and furious action coming now. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually kind of nice in retrospect that Gulfstream has, uh, Run behind a little bit. They did their classic Gulfstream uh, poster. Run and Ray got it. Damn it! I actually had a try that was. Uh, um, I played it. I, I boxed it, and then I thought it was going to be a little too, too chalky to do that. So I backed off on that. Run and Ray, the one got it. Got the job done. All right, Bourbon at Oaks. Uh, let's see. JD is on the seven. Mrs. Barbara, I'm on the seven. Mrs. Barbara, Mike, who were you on? I, I was seven eleven uh, in my defunct pick five or pick six tickets. So those are the two that I'm hoping for here. Um, I think that, that the 12 uh, Vergara is interesting as well at a big price, 13 to 1 for Grand Motion. Uh, but those are the ones that I, I the 7 and 11 were the two that I keyed on. What about you, JD? If not the 7, uh, I would go with the 10 North County for Brennan Walsh. Man, Brennan Walsh has been crushing at Gulfstream. I mean, he's been like, especially second off the layoff, he's been absolutely having a wonderful meetup down, down there. <laughs> That's self. I'm going to say that yeah. uh, my long shot is still of the three tap dancing ladies. She might not do better than the third, but man, I, I liked her in the Cincinnati trophy and she didn't have any pace to chase. And I think she's going to get it a little bit better set up here. So uh, watch out for the three uh, 15 to one right now. Here we go. We're off in the bourbon at Oaks. Uh, good. Break here we go. Everybody uh, two looks like she wants to lead a little bit. Seven going 12. Uh, the seven, Mrs. Barbara JD. That was our pick here. Uh, do you like to see her that close? Uh, it's, it's, not something that she usually does. At least she didn't do it at Woodbine. No, we don't. We do not want to see this. Uh, and hopefully, can settle down here. Actually, ended up not in too bad of a spot behind the two and the five, leading that second pack. But they're going quick up top. I do not like. And it looks like actually that they're asking the seven for a little bit more. Rafael Hernandez, the normal rider at Woodbine, is there at Turfway, and uh, now now stuck behind horses. This is a tough spot for the seven. Yeah, you were mentioning that this is a pretty fast pace too. Twenty three and four for the opening quarter. Anything under twenty four seconds is quick for Turfway, isn't it? It's very quick for Turfway. So um, obviously the two um, got some got some play. It was twelve to one on the morning line, nine to two in race here. Still pretty uh, the quick, favorite though, is pressured, nowhere. Pressured, pressured. Yeah. Let's right, see here. Katish starting out. to make a Katish start making a four wide move there. Let's Come see on, if Miss Barbara actually looking good. Come on, girl. So we've got Katish and Miss Barbara going three wide and four wide. The ten horse starting to make some move. Who's who's circling? That's the four horse. Four. Absolutely the circling Andy here. Raid. Candy Andy Raid. 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 At fifty-two to one Keith for Kent Sormo. Yeah, Kent Sormo. Yeah, Keith Sormo. For Keith the Sormo. Keith the yeah. Sormo. Yeah, circling the field here and looks to to have hit the front Which, and opening up. I knew this. Turfway, was... gonna turfway. <laughs> This is crazy. <laughs> Rafael Bayerano's won how many track titles at Turfway? And he yeah. just, oh, he ad obliterated that field right there. That wow. might be the That might be the most open lengths I've seen a 50 plus one shot, 50 <laughs> plus to one shot win in a 12 horse field. That is freaking wild. I mean, start number 10, uh, third time even hitting the board. And it's a win first time on synthetic, first time winning at two turns. Yeah, no, this all made logical sense, right, J.D.? It made sense. The horse yeah. was fifty to one. <laughs> Fifty-two to so one. You're... Thank you for being specific, Twin Spires. <laughs> so the three might have gotten up over Katish for second. So we could be looking at fifty to one over sixteen to one. Oh. <laughs> oh, fifty oh, to one over. Ooh, I don't know. That's close. Let's slow down one. I, I said we might Katish be had. looking. I mean, still, Katish is nine to one. It's not like that's you know the favorite. You know, and look at that. The four broke straight into the three. And still won by open links. How do you? Wow. <laughs> but, but what? 
What? So what ma- magic. <laughs> real real quick question for you. Candy Raid. Yes. Favorite in the Kentucky Oaks? <laughs> Man. Off of what we've seen. <laughs> no, I I want that Sunland Derby or the Sunland Oaks horse, Mike. The other impossible seventy-six to one shot that broke uh, broke the maiden and the maiden claimer at Remington. Can't remember the horse's name, but can tell you so much about them. I want that horse in the in the Oaks. <laughs> I, Cleopatra's I, Charge. Okay, I remembered it. <laughs> I'm telling you, Turfway Park to me is one of the toughest places to handicap. Like it just just feels like throwing darts for me there. Sometimes I play it maybe twice a year, and it just it's one of those tracks I just, I can't hit. Do we want any of these horses? This is unsynthetic, and it's crazy that this is a Kentucky Oaks prep race. But the winner's got 50 points, so she's going, and it's Keith DeSormo, so you can damn well be sure she's going to go. But uh, do we want any of these horses to make anything out of this race other than running back here at Turfway again? No. I mean, I'm a hard no. <laughs> like, I, I think Katish actually ran – like, okay, so this now I'm going to make a case for why Katish ran a really good race. We thought Katish would be forwardly placed, or at least I did. She was five wide on the first turn, rushed up the backstretch into fast fractions, and, and was fighting for the play spot. I actually think her race is pretty good here. So I, Katish is the only horse out of this race I have any interest in betting forward. So I would I would keep an eye on her at least, but I'm not sure that she's necessarily going to get the job done for me. I, damn it, one of these times my three is going to win a stakes race at Turfway. I'm going to keep her on her. I don't want her outside of Turfway. But, uh, man, yeah, I want to see the three get the job done at Turfway. Uh, JD, what do you think, buddy? Yeah, no, we're nope. <laughs> they're all Kentucky breads that might win some uh, some listed stakes at Turfway and move on. And hey, maybe they'll be good horses at Presque Isle. I don't know. Hey, congratulations <laughs> to Keith Storm. It's always fun when because the guy loves to run horses. Like I said, this is the horse tenth start already, so not something you see often from many trainers. But Keith loves to run them, so it's nice to see that he gets rewarded here. Um, that will be his reward because I don't think the Kentucky Oaks is going to do anything for this horse whatsoever. But hey, what do you think? Let us know down below in the chat. What do you think about this race? Is anybody from here worth following away from Turfway Park or off synthetic? Hit like if you like the video. Subscribe if you like it. If you're watching the live stream, stay tuned. Otherwise, we'll see you at the track. This has been a presentation of RacingDudes.com, your destination for all things horse racing and sports betting. Whether you want free winners, expert insider picks, up-to-the-minute trackside weather reports, or podcasts and videos for bettors of all skill levels, never make another wager without visiting the Racing Dudes first.